Are you tired of constantly having to load up your track manually? Wouldn't it be nicer if everything was controlled by the single press of a button and being fully automated with no mistakes during the process? Well, today I will show you how to achieve exactly that. Welcome to Scrub Mechanic Automated Survival, and this is How to Automate the Food Packaging Process. So what we're gonna need is two chests. One is being used right now, plus this other one, then four vacuum pumps, four switches, seven logic gates, one timer, two vacuum corner pieces of the vacuum tubes of course, and then seven straight pieces for the vacuum tubes. And then you're also gonna get some building blocks of your own choice. Then you wanna drive to the location and maybe close the hood of your car while you're at it. And we are here, at the packing station, and uh, I don't like the fact that there's farm bots around the area. You better look out for those while you're trying to build something. But anyways, in this case I'm going to set it up at the fruit station, uh, rather than the vegetable one, as I've already tested it out so that I can actually show you guys. So let's get to work. That's an everyday thing, just hey bots chasing cows. Don't don't worry about that happening. chasing the cow. Stop chasing the cow. Right then, the first thing you want to do is build a base for it. I would suggest building it in between the number 2 and number 3. Set up a equal base of around 4 blocks and then make it a bit wider for the chests. But at the same time you can keep it hollow to save building blocks of course. Build that upwards. All around three. It's lagging the game now. Stop it. Then build upwards of about three blocks to get the chest in level. And also make sure that it's built on a plane, so go outwards or at least two more blocks in these directions. Now this is just the way that I've designed it, you, 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 you're free to do your own design of it, I'm just making like this simple one. Then place about the chest at the very corner of it, in the center, and do the same thing for the other one. Then we are going to connect them with the small pipe piece, so that the inventory of these two chests is going to be shared between them. Now then, it's time to set up our vacuum pumps. So, just go ahead and grab some pipe pieces and extend them out. And I realized that I built this thing to show. Yeah. Allow me to fix that. Okay, like I was saying, peeled out at max the tubes. Actually, no, actually, one step in this case, 
I'll do one less. <clears throat> Every time that a game lags, I just have to wait and then cut the footage because the flipping lock is lagging the game again. Then place the vacuum tube facing the entrance of the packing station thingy. Anyways, if it gives you a red X, it's actually a good sign because it means it is kind of communicating with it, except that it simply has nothing to put in it. Then repeat the same process for all the other pipes and make sure to align them. This is why we brought the corner pieces so that I only have to use two chests. You could use one chest for each. In this, in this case, I'm just saving on resources. Once you set up the vacuum pumps, it's time to actually make the system that will automatically deliver our goods. So I'll just make a little compartment in here. This is mostly so that it's not going to be seen. Because you know, it's not. It, you may even get an epilepsy attack once you'll see what I'm about to do. So. Grab out your logic gates and your timer. We are going to place two logic gates, then a timer, and then another logic gate. Uh, I'll just put it right here. There we go. Then grab out your connect tool and connect the first logic gate to the second one, connect the second logic gate to the timer, connect the timer to the third logic gate, and then connect the third to this first so that it makes a loop. Now, you want to keep the first one on the end gate, then the second one you want to have it on it. An XOR gate, and then the third one you want to have it have as an XNOR gate. There we go, so AND, XOR, and XNOR. Then you want to Add more ticks to the timer, I just like to have it around 100 so that it has a nice delay to it because this is going to simulate the continuous press of a button That's and we have the timer so that it's not going to flash out like crazy every time we do it because even if you were to spam it, there's still a delay on the vacuum pump itself. And that's it, this is the system that would allow us to constantly pump out the food but we need to then select which of our produce we want to deliver, which is why we are added these other logic gates. We're going to keep them to an end, then we're going to connect the XNOR logic gate to all these AND gates, to all of them, and as you can see they're going to all blink. Then we're going to close everything. Whip out the first switches you got in your inventory and then place them all on the outside and then connect each one to its separate end gate. Once you've done it, you connect all the, the end gates to their respective vacuum pumps. Like this, so the first one to the first, second one to the second one, and so forth. There we go. In this, so once we press each one of these, this switch is going to correspond to that one, as you can clearly see, it's now flashing. If I were to press the second one, now the second one is flashing, let's press the fourth one, and now the fourth one is flashing. So this is pretty much to check that you have wired everything correctly. Then, something that I like to do is to actually paint so the, uh, the switches, so that they are color-coded according to the vegetable that you are, or well, actually the fruit in this case, they are trying to deliver. So we're going to have a yellow switch for the bananas, a blue switch for the blueberry, uh, with the orange, I like to keep a little bit of a darker orange, because then you have the pineapple. With the pineapple I actually use this coloring, which is actually the color of its packet. It's not the actual color of a pineapple, that's just how the package for the pineapple is, and I use I, like, I use this as the color for it. You can keep orange, uh, I just like to color things. 
that's that that's all I, I do so now if we were to add something in here like for example let's add in some oranges there you go it got activated then we press the button for the oranges and it automatically delivers the oranges And then as you can see, you'll make our package. Whee! And then you will be ready to deliver to the trader. With this system, you'll no longer need to drive to the fruit station and, uh, and manually attach a vacuum pump to the station itself and like try to set up the car correctly like it shows on this picture. You can just make this stationary version of it and it will be much faster because you, all you need to do is just press all of these guys in here and you have no problems. I hope you guys found that pretty useful for your survival world. I'm not really good with making tutorials but I tried to explain it the best as I can and yeah it's very useful especially if you know you, you don't want to mess up because a few times I just drove around here with the truck and tried to park it properly so that the vacuum tube on the on the truck would align with the station. Now I no longer need to do that. I can just go ahead and grab the crates and just put them on the truck. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. And on that note, I think I'm dead. <laughs>